so many people popping in here in the chat room ready to get crafty in today's craft lesson. Well, I'm super excited. We have again been working really hard on a lot of new things for you guys. So as you all tune in, share with us where you're visiting from, let us know what you've got going on and let us know what you think about our new setup, okay? So Rachel, first of all, you have your very own mock now. I know, I feel so fancy. <laughs> I feel in the loop, I'm, I'm super excited. It, this is gonna be the best because guys, when I was trying to do the live streams earlier this week, um, it was really odd because I felt like we couldn't have the moments that Rachel loves to give and her commentary. So of course we had to fix it. Yeah, Ugh. so we hooked me up and here I am. So let us know what you all think about her audio. Let us know everything like that. We are gonna be adjusting things as we see fit. Um, so if you have a thought to give, do not feel um, negative as we are running those, feedback, those pieces of feedback. But in today's video, Rachel, we're going over something that we talk about a lot, um, especially with the surface we're using today. Right. But what I love is that we're giving a totally different perspective on how we typically do something. So you guys have probably seen our videos where we use iron on or vinyl and just slap it on one of our beautiful pieces or one of our beautiful wood slabs. Yeah, and we love showing people how to iron on wood too. So we do that all the time, but this is a fun twist on it. This is a great twist. This is using acrylic paint. Everybody has acrylic paint in their arsenal. So you want to be able to use acrylic paint as a different solution. Um, we had a video posted while I was on vacation on how to use freezer paper to make stencils. So in today's video, we're using wood um, and just a, one of your random pieces of vinyl, Rachel, um, a color that you may not use a lot, anything like that to make this project. We had lots of questions saying, Tanner, could I use freezer paper on wood? And I don't think your freezer paper would adhere too well to that. So in today's video, we're gonna teach you guys how to make stencils with vinyl, even though it's a little bit more costly than using all of your freezer paper things. Um, it's still great because you can use scraps and it lasts multiple times depending on the type of stencil. Oh yeah, so and, the, and the look that this, you know, the stenciling gives, it oh, gives, it's awesome. A very unique look, which yes. we appreciate. So Rachel, what is everyone saying in the comments? How is everyone doing the Sunday? Everybody's doing good. Most of our viewers seem cold. You know, <gasps> it is freezing. They're so cold. I know, they're all cold. So just stay warm, get crafty guys. <laughs> and everyone is saying that they love the audio, they love being able to hear everyone, so we're so happy to hear that. Guys, this has been an amazing week for everyone at Makers Gonna Learn. Um, before we get started, I want to start seeing your pictures of your printable guides in the Facebook group. If you're a member of Makers Gonna Learn, head on over, download your Cricut printable guide. I was talking to one of my friends last night about how many things we've been giving to you guys, and we have a lot. So let's just recap. We came out with the home collection on Tuesday. We launched the printable guide like on Wednesday or Thursday. Then we have the Disney collection that just launched um, yesterday, which we haven't even made any videos about it. So get ready for that. We have a lot of other things going on in the meantime. But Rachel, let's show them a little sneak peek to that Disney collection on that second camera. Yes. Oh, this is the Disney collection, guys. And we are just so, so excited about it. So. We're going to quickly run through this with you all. Um, it is amazing, and I love, love, love this collection. And our viewers, our members have been waiting for this forever. Right. And We're so excited. There's two little um, issues with this specific collection. There's a few for our PC friends. There was a PC update um, that took place, and we are just so sorry that our files for this collection, we're having to get a few corrections. So if you guys are interested in becoming a member and you are maybe already have your membership, but you need to maybe take a little sneak peek at the Disney collection, let me pull it up real quick so that we can share with you guys what these files are like because you are going to not want to miss out on this collection since there's so many um, people talking about it, especially in the Facebook group. Um, we are just super excited. So there's so many amazing files here. We love this collection. It's really fun. But bows before bros, best day ever. A lot of people are asking how we access our files. We use Dropbox, but we also use iZip. So the company uses Dropbox, but all these files are available right away. If you are a member of Makers Gonna Learn, you can get your year membership at the link below if you need to. Um, so we love that. 
Um, so super, super fun. So I hope you guys are enjoying all that. Again, remember Tuesday, we will be releasing all of our new fonts and things like that. We have so many fonts for you guys um, and we're really excited. So in today's project, we're using one of our home decor files from the home collection. We use and create all of these patterns and things like our trees, but we never get to share a lot of ideas with you guys using this. So in today's video, that's what I was like, oh my gosh, we definitely wanna showcase one of our uh, more stencil-like patterns um, that you can use on a craft project. So before we get started, are there any questions? What's everyone oh, saying, Tanner, Rachel? We have got some questions. Ooh. Anita says, can you use parchment paper to do stencils? You could, but I highly recommend something with that sticky back. And Tammy says, where do we get our wood? Ooh, so you can get this piece of wood at all of your craft stores. This one's from Walnut Hollow, um, but you can also get it from uh, Hobby Lobby. Michael's has their own line of wood slabs, which we love. So really wherever you can find these beautiful, beautiful wood slabs. Like I seriously just love these wood slabs. We use them in all kinds of things. And Teddy says, hi Tanner and Rachel, I love the new setup. Question. Do we have the license to spread the guide to customers or is it only for our use? This is just for members. You better not be giving this guide to anybody. You will lose your membership if we find out that you're selling this guide, giving this to friends. This is a member only perk, everyone. We are working timelessly on developing new guides for you guys as additional member benefits. So please, these are for personal use if you have a membership um, because you know, it's one of the additional perks of membership. Like this is a great guide. If, you, if you've if you been busy this week when you didn't get to see us launch it on this week during the channel, um, we'll go through it real quick just so that you all fill in the loop. You've got the design space terminology, which we love talking about for beginners. We've got what mat you should use. You want to print this out and keep it right beside your Cricut. So your blade charts with what material to use, what blade width, we love that. So much stuff in here, more terms. We got cheat sheets for print and cut. We got cheat sheets for adhesive vinyl, what we're using today. We've got the easy press temperature guides for pattern iron on sport flex, everyday iron on foil, fusible fabric. I mean, Rachel, this is so packed full of stuff. So much stuff. And you know, <laughs> I know that some of us might want to spread it to our friends and family and things like that, but if you have somebody who has a cricket and wants a guide like this, tell them to check out the membership. Definitely. You know, tell them to go in there, see what we've got going. Maybe we'll get, you know, we'll get them inspired and they become a member and then they can use this for themselves too. So, you know, just. For sure. So yeah. this is a great bonus for any membership tier, monthly, six month or yearly. But remember guys, if you want access to our member only uh, courses and our member only fonts that will be coming out Tuesday, you have to be that year membership tier. So today is a great day to go ahead and upgrade your membership if you're monthly, six month, and want to go to yearly. Or if you have just stumbled upon our channel and you love your Cricut machine, you're going to love our benefits of being a member. So we'll talk more about that. But who is ready to get crafty? Everybody. Everybody. But first, you have some time for questions. Of course we have time for questions. Yeah, they keep coming in. Yay. Donna says, how did you make your guide with the spirals? So how did you oh, go and get that laminate? Listen, Donna, I went to my local print shop. I'm good friends with them. And I said, here's, here's the PDF. Print it. Um, laminate it and coil it for me. I don't really like the coils, but hey, it is what it is. And Tammy said, hey, do you get the guide with a monthly membership? Yes, you do. So any membership tier. Let me tell you, if you're thinking about being a member for $19.99 a month at the first link down below, you're going to get over 600 cut files today. You're going to get the printable guide, access to our member only Facebook group, highly worth the $20. I do have to recommend. Um, and yearly members, it's a huge deal. You get thirty. You get three months free going yearly, so that financial incentive. Um, but then you get one hundred and fifty dollars worth of bonus video trainings where you can learn how to use your Cricut with yours truly. Design space tips and trick. We had a, a member that left an amazing testimony that was super sweet, but we love that. So people are loving their year membership. And then this Tuesday we have fonts coming out. So lots of stuff going on. Um, you can check out all that at the first link down below. Yeah, and Jody, speaking of the membership, Jody has a great question. Oh, hey, Jody. What does the membership get you? <gasps> That's a great question. So, see, a lot of people talk about, Tanner, why do you talk about your membership so much? I feel like this is an infomercial. And I totally understand that, but there's a lot of people out there that are brand new to our channel, so we want to talk about this. 
for everyone. So let's share with them real quick what you get when you're a member. So if you click that first link down below, you'll see this page here, and this goes over your membership benefits. So every single month you're a member, you get a collection of digital cut files. You get a free commercial use license to use our cut files to grow your own business. You get monthly live streams, an exclusive Facebook group, special pricing for any of our courses or anything like that. Um, and we have the three different membership tiers. So we have monthly, six month, and yearly. So yearly is where we pour in all of the value, where anything I talk about you get access to, and you get three months free compared to, oops, compared to the monthly membership. And then you also get those bonus e-courses and then you also get um, a lot of other fun things like the font. So let me share with you guys what that actually looks like. So I'm just gonna log into my personal account. And Tanner, how many of our members say that they absolutely adore a Facebook group? I know oh our gosh. Facebook group seems to be a small perk, but people, what, everyone loves their Facebook What group. the thing is about the Facebook group is that there's so much value. It's the community aspect. I mean, with having 2,000 members, you want to connect with each other. You want to ask your questions in a group that's relatable. So here's where the bonus comes for the members that are yearly. They get access to all of this right here for free, $150 plus value. And then Tuesday, we're launching over 60 plus fonts. I want to say it's almost 80 fonts. So if you are not a member, click that first link down below and consider membership. Because if you have a die cutting machine, you're going to love your membership. So yeah. Any other questions, Rach? Uh, yes, we always have questions. I love questions. Diane <laughs> said, what is the difference between the membership videos and the summit? <gasps> That's a great question. So the summit is really there for people that want to get actionable full like 10 classes. They're one hour classes over one weekend and it's really saying, hey, um, I'm coming to the summits to take a weekend off of life and craft. It's centered around using your die cutting machine. We bring in amazing instructors from our internal team. We invite guests to come and we just craft all weekend. We had such a fun one in the fall. And then if you check out the second link down below, you can see um, our 2019 summit. Our official schedule is not released. So we'll be having like a launch party once we have announced the official schedule. So um, a lot of members have already got their ticket to the summit. So highly recommend um, keeping your ears peeled for more information on that coming probably in February. And uh, Dodie says, please explain what the one hour workshops are. Are they for members only? How can we find prior ones? Yeah, so we have prior ones in the Facebook group. What we're doing with our new website is putting those all in one place. And that's why we have this new video set up is so that we can actually make even better ones um, than we've done in the past and that we can do those more on a current basis for each of you guys. So lots of fun coming. You're going to love the new video section of the website. So are we ready to get crafty? We're ready. Let's do it. So it uh, looks like Design Space is having a moment here. I don't know what is happening. I hope I'm on the right Wi-Fi and everything. But anyway, let's just go over to our canvas. So when we were talking about the membership earlier, we were talking about getting a new collection every single month. Um, this is one of the files from our latest home decor collection, which we love. It's such a great one. And I absolutely adore this file. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out and then we're going to use this as a stencil. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We already sized it. When we do size things, we want to look at our project and Rachel, I absolutely adore this right here. Like, I do too. It's for sewing, but it's from Cricut and we use it on every project we have because it moves with your project, whether it's a mug or wood like this or a t-shirt or anything. And it, it folds up so small, you know, so I love course, that. Of course, I do. So yeah, you just want to look at this, measure it. You know, this is like 13 inches. So we're going to do ours like as large as we can on the mat and that's awesome. So what we're going to do here is bring the iPad back in frame and it's already sized. So what the size we chose to go with today would be 9.9 .9 by 11.3. So lots of fun there. And then what we're going to do is just go ahead and press make it. Now we already imported this image into Cricut. So if you have any questions on that, we have video trainings for our members on uploading those files in Cricut. And one thing I love to talk about, Rachel, is that once you've uploaded the file in Cricut, you never have to upload it again. So you can monitor your files on your Cricut Design Space app, 
or you can upload them or download them to your computer and organize it there. Right, which is so handy. That's perfect. Super handy. And one thing that we love is people love our PDF collection guide. So people print these out and are able to see all of our cut files at a moment's notice and pull for any Christmas project, our guide, members only, cut files only. Um, you have to be a member and Valentine's Day is coming up and you do not want to miss out on these Valentine's Day files. No, they're so cute. I love the Valentine's collection. I can't wait to start getting crafty with them again. Right. They're so cute. And I love this PDF because you can just go through and see exactly what you've got here. You know, you don't have to open up all the collections. You can just say, oh, I remember having a file, but what collection was it from? This is a great way to quickly go through all your files and select the one you need. Exactly. So we have live celebrations. There's lots of files here, lots of collections, as you can see here, maker collection. I mean, we have such the spring collection. We have so much good stuff going on. Mom and dad's for Mother's and Father's Day. Um, so much good stuff. So anyway, the apparel collection. I love that. Um, so oh, back to school. But anyway, back to our crafting and design space. And we have three questions having to do with the summit if you're Oh, well, we love talking about the answer. summit, so throw them at me. Okie dokie. Let me get up to the first one. i got to scroll <laughs> a bit. It's okay. Oh, Diane says, what is the cost for the summit? So the summit cost is $197, and that gets you 10, 10, out, 10 one hour classes with our demonstrators and um, teachers. So you get supply list, you get the full action packed video, um, and it's a whole weekend. So there's five classes each day on a Saturday and Sunday on March 9th and 10th. But you may be saying, Tanner, I um, already have a son's baseball tournament, a tournament. I already have a, a, a weekend retreat, anything like that. Um, you get these recorded, so that includes everything you need. So hope that answers your question. What's the next one? Uh, Pat says, do you get unlimited access to the videos from the summit? Of course. If you get a ticket to the summit, you get all 10 videos um, in HD format, plus you get the recordings from the actual summit. Um, and that means like the in between class chatter. I'm with you the entire day in the chat box chatting away and I kind of recap each class at the end telling my favorite parts um, but we have the instructors actually teach the class. So you get both of those whether whichever aspect you want to take on it. The full five hour thing that's live with you or you can get those HD quality recordings if you miss it. And Hannah asked, when was the summit? But I think you already answered that. So we have two a year. We had one in the fall of 2018. And then we have our next one coming up March 9th and 10th. I'm super excited about that. It's coming up before we know it. I so know. So it's got a lot of stuff. We need to be getting out the class schedules. The fonts have been taking up a lot of our time. So we will be talking more about the summit um, probably later on in next week. And it's a lot of good stuff. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And Melanie says, is there still a special price for the summit if you are a member? No. So if you're a member, you get a special price. There was a special, special price for the pre-sale. You will get a member only price once we officially launch the calendar, which is cheaper than our regular price. So that you will always get that. But the pre-sale you're probably talking about is out. So yeah, that was like a two day special. So any other questions? Yeah, so um, the, Jody says, is the summit online or do we go to a location in person? It's an online summit. It's a virtual craft summit. We love it. It's super fun. And any of our members, any of our friends here on YouTube are able to attend. So we love that. And Tracy says, when is the latest that you can purchase your summit ticket? You can get the ticket like closer to March, but we highly recommend securing your spot in there because we do send out something special for um, the members and you have to have your ticket before the summit to get the supply list and things like that. And Tammy says, I'm really thinking about getting the membership. Is the payment secure? Yes, we only use PayPal processing. There's a few people that talk about PayPal that they don't have a PayPal account, but we do not handle the technology. We can barely handle the technology to have a nice live stream. So we cannot, you know, 100% guarantee handling secure payments. That's why we use PayPal, everyone. We have we cannot touch your payment. We have no idea what your credit card information is. PayPal takes care of it all, and we love it. It's flawless. Where has been? I've been using it for years, and I'm sure you all enjoy PayPal too. Blake, what are you f patting down over here, bud? You're cleaning a dry erase board. I was so curious. I just hear him cleaning away, and I was just curious what it was. 
All righty. Uh, Ruth and Blake. Blake, Blake. <laughs> that was Tanner's super sweet way of saying, please stop. <laughs> I'll say it. Blake, stop. Okay. Sorry. Oh, Ru- we Ruth have friends Ann. here today. Ruth Ann says, are the e-courses listed below free to the Makers Gonna Learn members? Yeah, uh, three of them. The Build a Business, the Cricket Maker um, A to Z kind of like Cricket Maker e-course, and then we have the Design Space class. So all three of those free to members, which are, are, are almost all the courses we have. We have a few extra ones, but these are my favorite because a lot of beginners were getting the year membership. So that's why I put those in there for you guys so you can really master your machine, enjoy our cut files, and get more value out of your membership. But all righty, anything else? Yes, one uh, more. One more. One okay. more, then we're getting crafty. I know people's ready to get crafty. I know. I'm ready to get crafty. But, get crafty. but this is a great question. Great we get question. it all the time. Let me know. Um, hang on, let me find it. Oh gosh, <laughs> I just had it. Okay, here we go. I just got my Cricut Access. How is your membership different from Cricut Access? That's a great thing. Well, you know, we have printable guides. We have video trainings. We have the cut files, we have the membership group. Ours is not just throwing you a bunch of cut files and saying, here you go. Ours is really inspiring you to make crafts coming to you every single day with the tools, the techniques, everything you need to master each project. Um, So that's what I consider the number one um, differ, like where we differ is we're more about inspiring you guys to use the machine rather than saying, here's, you know, a lot of projects. We really get more personable when it comes to the Facebook group, the video trainings, the printables, the fonts, the cut yes. files, like everything. The customer service oh. and the Facebook group, guys. I mean, one member posts a question within two minutes. She has answers it's from beautiful. everybody. We're all building each other up. Just, oh, it's good. It's, it's you won't get this with Cricut Access. You yeah. know, you just won't. You won't. Yeah. So, all right, I, we're going to have to hold comments. Rachel, for once, you know, you all say I don't read enough comments. Rachel's given all the comments. So we got to get back to crafting because I know there's some people here on this Sunday that want to see how to stencil with their Cricut, right? Who don't? I know. So let's go ahead. We have Matt one of one here. It's already giving you the preview. We're going to click continue. And let's see here. It's just going to connect. It looks like we're already connected to our machine, which is great. So it's just going to continue through. I hope our Wi-Fi is doing good today. Have we, have, have we had any issues with Wi-Fi? No. Uh, has anyone had any issues with the string or anything? I don't think so. I hope so. not. Yeah. So we're going to select vinyl. And then we're going to turn fast mode on. Rachel always takes care of loading the machine for me. I'm just going to move the machine over so you all can see it in this camera. Do, 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 do. Love it. I love this. This is easy. Yeah. When we get Looky this third here. camera... That's when it's going to get lit. Right. <laughs> so, all right, guys. You can see here, people talk about the different mats. This is a real-off moment. It had been laying on the mat for a while, so you can kind of see, after you use the light grip mat, it may have some issues. Right, Rachel? Right, yeah. But and that's, that's not okay. the newest light grip this mat. This is not either. our newest light grip mat. But you're going to see that hopefully it still works great. So I'm going to press that flashing Cricut button. It's going to go through and start cutting. While that cuts, Rachel, I'm going to get us some transfer tape because what I didn't think of was that we would need a little bit of transfer tape. Oh, oh my gosh, that because was my it's, job. Tara, because, just fire me. Rachel, it's fun because just think fire. about it. Like if you look at this project, it is such a detailed design that we yes. want to be able to, you know, get that through and not have to peel it up on our own. I was too excited about stenciling. Guys, I'm super Sorry. excited about the stenciling. Yeah. So now if there's any questions, this would be a great time now that we got the machine going. Yeah. Oh, well, we get asked this all the time too. Uh-huh. How can we get someone to help? Where is, you know, that's a great question. Where can they go? Oh my goodness. Well, if you all have any customer service questions from can't oh. access your account to anything like that, you can go ahead and send us an email. Hi at makers going to learn.com. We will give you guys as much help as needed. And we have customer service every single day. Um, even on the weekends now, which we, um, may have not reminded you all in a little bit, but 8 a.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. Eastern every single day. Which is awesome. We used to have it like five days, but you yeah. all, you all need it. So we gave you two extra days yeah. there. So, um, if you all, you know, need that and you were like, what? I can't catch that. Repeat it. It's in the description box. So hi at makers going to learn.com. And Rita says, Tanner, what iPad would you recommend? Oh my gosh. This is a great question, Rita. Well, you know we gave one away during our big giveaways of 12 Days of Christmas. I recommend going to Amazon right now. They have this exact iPad I'm using today. Um, It's the sixth generation iPad. It's beautiful. And I was able to get it for $2.99 on Amazon, Rachel. 
Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. I was I paid for this one three forty at Walmart. So I love this sixth generation one. It's really good. Super simple to use. And this Cricut is just cutting away. It does all the work for us. I like that the iPad or really it's not really the iPad, but design space says you know the percentage of cutting. oh I love, I love that. that don't you I love the because I'm not a patient crafter Me I'm just either. not so I just like seeing seeing that it's pretty neat yeah guys if you're just tuning in with us we are making a really fun stencil and we're going to teach you how to stencil using acrylic paint it's gonna be a lot of fun so we're just cutting out our design which we love it's from our new home decor collection from makers gonna learn yes. so be sure to check out our membership I've been loving seeing some of the comments of people talking about how much they love their membership. It makes me really happy. Oh, Tanner Jody has a great Jody? question. Jody, hey girl. Jody has asked a lot of questions today. I love today. members Some like great Jody. Questions. Yes. yes, and I don't think she's a member yet. Oh. But she's asking some darn <laughs> questions. That's so great. Here we go. She says, so if I am a member, right. can I use all the patterns to sell in my business on t-shirts, mugs, etc., or do I have to pay extra for no, the No, girl, you heard me. I hope you heard me. I said a free commercial use license. So that means you get all of these cut files to be able to enjoy and use with your die cutting machine to sell for your business and everything like that. So yes, you do get that free commercial use license at no additional cost to you, which we love. Oh yeah, heck yeah. I love to talk about the free, free commercial law. I do too. Awesome. And look, it is cutting away. We're almost, we're getting closer. And Diane says, when will the special price come out for Summit yearly members? Wait, yeah, for um, yes. the Summit, yeah. So right. for the Summit members. Yeah, so we had a pre-sale before we launched the schedule. We'll be launching the schedule probably at the end of this week going into next weekend, um, just because we have fonts going on all next week. Um, and then we'll have the official the official official schedule and we'll have that special price so stay tuned to the facebook group and your email for those special links and if you maybe just love our videos and like i want to see tanner at a summit you can click the first link down below and that's a regular price for your summit ticket so yeah stay tuned yeah and let's see oh liz marie she's so sweet she says, thank you so much for your tutorials. It has helped me so much. When I'm not watching you guys, I start missing you. Uh, we've heard so many comments like that, Rachel. I was blown away with everyone while I was on vacation saying how much they missed our live stream. Someone left a post on the Facebook group and said, I was losing motivation and didn't know why I was losing motivation to craft. But then I realized you all weren't crafting live with us. <laughs> so I really love being live with you guys almost every day getting to share our craftiness. It's, it's fun. It's the best. It is. Best job ever. And Madeline says, question about the commercial license. Yes, Madeline, hey. Can I cut the SVGs and sell them without putting them on anything? So like a vinyl decal? I think sure. so, yeah. yeah. you are more than welcome to use a vinyl decal. Um, you don't have to put them on anything, but here's what you cannot do. You cannot go ahead and like download an SVG file, put our SVG file for sale on Etsy, and try to sell that for your own profit. You cannot sell the digital copy, but hey, if you print out 20, 20, um, I don't know, Rachel, give me 20 bows, you know, 20 bow um, files on vinyl and you sell those for cheerleaders that want to put something on the back of their car, go for it. Cause that's a physical item. Right. Um, that's the free commercial license. And that's where the value really comes into play. All right, guys, so we've went ahead and cut this out. Now, what I love with this file, this is one of our files that are really honestly made to be a stencil because you can see here, we've got this like outer edge, which a lot of files do not come with. So let's go ahead and pull this off. <gasps> Rachel, did it not cut through? What? That's I just normal know. vinyl. I know, man. Let's see here. Okay, it cut through. That was, that was scary. <laughs> Now let's all watch Tanner weed this in This is going to be a show. Y'all, I'm not ready to weed this. I'm not mentally ready to weed this. Um, I, we should. This is out of all the times, we should have had one already weeded. Darn. Didn't even think about it. It shouldn't be that bad, either. right? No. Uh -uh. Okay. Audrey has a super sweet and funny comment. Hey, Audrey. She says, I sat down yesterday and watched every video in your Maker's Gonna Learn tutorial Aww. with the Maker. I didn't go to bed till like one o'clock at night, or I guess one o'clock in the morning. Oh my god! But goodness. I learned so much from you. Aw, yay! Thanks. So happy you all are enjoying that. It's um, fun to binge watch craft tutorials. Oh my gosh, it's the best, isn't it, Rachel? It is. We love it. 
Here he goes. He's waiting away. This is going to take me a minute, so y'all just sit back. Enjoy your Look, Sunday. Look, Tanner's getting in the shot. Look at him. Hey. He's up in there. Hey. hey. All right, guys. Yeah, so this did not... I should have gave them more pressure. When I don't give more pressure, I can tell a difference. I don't know about you guys, but... Listen, the more pressure helps me out a ton. Did you not do more pressure? I didn't. I was too busy enjoying the comments, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. There was okay. a well. It was yeah. me. It was I me. love the comments from the people, so I won't apologize, but it's not you. It's me. Oh, and what vinyl did we use, Teresa? Just regular cricket everyday vinyl. Yeah, when we're making stencils like this, we recommend um you guys to use like vinyl colors that you probably don't use a lot in your crafting. So like we don't use purple a lot. Um, you know, it's not really a lot of things we use in our home, but you know, if you don't use a lot of browns, brown vinyl or something, you have a lot of pieces like that left around, use that to make your stencils. Because um, we're just using acrylic paint to make this stencil today. So we're just going to use this purple. Yeah, and I think it was just part of like a sample pack with a ton of colors. And like Tanner said, we don't really use purple. So don't use a, you know, color vinyl that you use every day. Like You'll never see us use white, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. So we just love use our white vinyl. Just use something you wouldn't otherwise use. Right, 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 right. And like Tanner said, you can use it more than once. Totally. So get your money's worth. Totally, totally. Yeah, see, Rachel, if you're able to tell here, I don't know if you, you personally can pick it up, but it, the vinyl's just not coming off as easy as it normally does, and I think it's because I forgot to give that more pressure. Oh, oh Nancy, uh, speaking of pressure, says, how do you know when to add more pressure? Oh, Nancy, I put more pressure on almost everything, especially when it's vinyl-related. You want to give that more pressure, you know what I mean? You definitely want to give that more pressure. Um, but yeah, if it's a really intricate item, I would say do not use more pressure. Um, but if you know... Like so, vellum, I think we use more oh pressure gosh. on vellum that did not go... Or fast mode. Yeah, That's we no. we used fast mode with vellum and do not recommend that at all. Angela, she hey, says, Angela. first time here, could you oh tell goodness. me a little bit about your all self? Yeah, oh my goodness. Well, Rachel, take it away. Tell us how, tell them how you ended up here. Oh, goodness. Oh, gosh. Well, it was like a friend of a friend. So my first cousin, who's actually sitting two inches next to me right now. He, um, he's our tech guy. He's our tech guy. Small yeah. family. It's a family-owned business here. It is. They went to school together in what, like fifth grade? Uh, Fourth grade. Fourth grade. So sorry. So they've known each other forever. So I, was, I saw Tanner growing up a little bit. But uh, my cousin's mom actually called me one day when a spot opened up in Tanner's business for somebody crafty. And my sweet aunt recommended me. And I came to talk to Tanner like a week later or something like that. And that was in like 2015 and I've been here ever since. Just crafting away with Tanner. Yeah, it's been so much fun. Rachel's the best. Rachel is one of those people, if you want to like talk about a project manager, like she knows what you need before you need it, which is super beneficial in a business like this when we're, um, you know, she's producing a lot. She's helping with the live streams. Um, what we were doing before we were creating a lot of live streams, because believe it or not, uh, making craft videos is what we've always done but um just not like this we used to produce a lot of videos for um like corporate so we would work with um you know corporate clients to produce new marketing videos and you know campaigns but now we get to work a lot with the consumers like you guys so we love that um, and it's a totally different aspect we get to i think we have a lot more fun now don't you Rach? yeah oh it's a ton of fun and it's because you know there's so many so much creative freedom now right you know it's not like we were tied down before but we had i mean we had to get approvals yeah, we had things to pitch like things yeah but now it's just like whatever we want to craft we can craft whatever you all want us to make we're happy to make i mean it's just I mean, the it's creative like, freedom is just awesome. Yeah, it's like, do we? Does the members want fonts? Okay, we're make we're we're launching fonts. Like, let's figure it out. Um, you know, you guys wanted a Disney collection, we figured it out. Um, so, you know, stuff like that is just really empowering, and it's all thanks to you guys supporting the membership. So, when I say the membership, you know, is the number one way to support what we do here, it's because you know we're able to have Rachel work full time on the membership. Um, you know, it's because we are able to do a little less client work because we have the membership and it's just so much fun and we want to do more um so supporting the membership enjoying the value we provide here and i think the best part about what we do is that since we have such a background in like the video production aspects and things like that we're able to provide great videos we're able to provide great techniques um compared to you know some other things that we 
could be doing. Like, I just feel like it, it just works really well. It does. But it I'm does. Tanner. Um, I'm, I'm I forgot, Tanner. I forgot somebody new here was here, and I, we just turned it into a Rachel interview. So I'm Tanner. Um, welcome. So happy you found it here. Uh, what's her name? Angela? I think so. I that think was so. a lot of comments That was ago. a lot of I'm comments sorry ago. It's okay. I well, Angela, name. or any new members, I'm Tanner. I've been crafting online since I was in the fifth grade. I'm now 20. And we just love inspiring you guys to get crafty and use your die cutting machine. So, yeah, that's what we do here. And we're so happy you're here. I hope, are people loving these new mock setups? I feel like this is like changing the they game. They do. We have gotten no complaints about Rachel being too quiet, <laughs> Tanner being too loud. I think we've about found our groove with the audio. Well, this is great. Yeah. This is exactly what we wanted. And are you up for some questions, Tanner? Rachel, I need some questions to get me through weeding do? all this. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Let, let me find you some questions. <laughs> okay. Okay, Marsha has hey, Marcia. a pretty interesting question. I love it. Does vinyl questions. get old? Yes. It does. We know from experience. Yes. And vinyl gets old. Yeah. So it definitely will get old, so use it. And when I say get old, like, you don't use a piece of vinyl that you bought, like, seven years ago. But, like, if you bought a piece of vinyl last year, you're fine. But there's some people that would say otherwise. But, yeah, as long as it's not, like, seven years like three like i would say three like don't buy vinyl unless you expect to use it in the next like 24 to 72 months like you want to use it like pretty quick and i read a question i think it's like gone now i can't find it's okay. it but um i'm sorry i don't know who what said was the question it. um it was do any other membership tiers besides yearly get access to the font <gasps> no only year members so that's a great reason to upgrade and while we're on that there's a lot of monthly people that are like, oh my gosh, that stink sponsor not gonna be here for us. First of all, everything that you were guaranteed, like expected of when you signed up is still happening. We're not taking any of your benefits away. We're just adding to a certain tier. Um, and the reason we are not giving that to monthly members is because like in the beginning of the live stream, there's so much value um, for a monthly member already, like the printable guide, the 600 plus cut file library, everything like that. Um, and there's people that will join our membership and be a member for a month and then cancel. So unfortunately, with the cost of fonts to produce, um, we are not able to give that to monthly members. Hi, Tanner. Hi, Rich. We have some comments coming in, and I didn't understand what they were saying at first. Okay. But now I understand because our members are amazing. They're amazing. Tell we're, me more. The file that you're waiting right now. Yes. It's like opposite as to what we should have cut to make it a stencil. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make sure. Does that make sense? <laughs> like I, I just ignored I just ignored all the comments. Oh my god. I was like whatever people but. So we're gonna do a reverse. So this is what happens. You can see this version, right? We're going to do the opposite version for you guys. Oh my gosh, yes. This is a great... This is their plan all along, This guys. is the plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Like this, five, two, five or Sunday, six It's Sunday, y'all. We usually don't even work on Sunday. <laughs> this, oh my gosh. That's Rachel. hysterical. I'm so oh, sorry. I love how you brought that up, Rachel. So, well, and this is okay. I feel like you would have stumbled upon it at some point. Well, I was thinking about it. Oh, you were? I was like this. I was like, what's that? I was well, like, your awesome members were way ahead of both of us. Well, Rach, so. we got too into the comments. You know what? That's okay. We'll just, we're going to roll with it. We're rolling with it, everyone. And hey, the video title is How to Stencil with your cricket. So, yeah. We're, we're still teaching you yeah, that. You all will still learn the same thing. Yeah. Just... Well, backwards, but... I was literally wondering, because when we're making that one, it looked totally different. So, oh my goodness. Hey, whatever. That's so freaking okay. funny. Thanks for the help, though, guys. Yes, you guys are amazing. I kept reading them, and I was like, what are they talking about? Cracking oh, me gosh. up here, Rachel. Cracking me Real up. Real life mistakes. So, yes. how many d people do we have hanging out with us today? Okay, let me let me get there. Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh, Tanner. We have 252 people watching. F 252. What a great day and great number to just... Have a total craft fail, but hey, we're we're going. No, we're this gonna isn't a craft it. fail, Tanner. This is it's be not good. a fail unless you give up. And you guys know I don't give up on these craft projects. Nope. Okay, get back to this weeding. I'm focusing in, even though, you know what we discovered. All righty, so we are just working away, weeding this out here. All right. 
Um, Patty says, hey, do you Patty. have anything to do to your machine to keep it running good? Ooh, that's a great question. Ooh. I like to just take care of it. We have this um, like spray air that we keep on in the studio a lot. And what we do is make sure that like all of these parts are nice and clean and ready to go at all times. Because you don't want a bunch of gunk from paper or your rotary blade, you know, anything like that. You don't want you know, that to gunk it up. Especially if you use your Cricut Maker with the chipboard or any type of balsa wood or basswood or anything. You need You want to clean that sucker out. You know, you don't want it to start collecting all that, uh, all that sawdust in there. No. And it doesn't create a ton of sawdust, but you know. Especially if you use the Cricut chipboard, which we love. We right. highly recommend that Cricut chipboard. But clean your machine, be good to your machine, and it'll be good to you. Oh, that's Rachel's favorite saying, and I highly agree. Yeah. Okay. Deborah says that's what happens in a live show. It is Deborah. Things happen. It's okay. Amen. We're here. That is what happens. It is what it is at this point in the day. I mean, you all saw how long it took to cut it out, so we just don't have time for that in a live show. And there's a lot of little nitpicky pieces here. I'm just gonna say you can kind of pick and choose which ones you actually want to use. So since I know that the piece of wood is like really only going like on the left side. I'm not gonna really worry about the right side too much. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure like all of this and over is good to go. So yeah, I think we're about good. There may be one or two other pieces, but hey, at that point in the day, you can kind of pick and choose. Like there's one right here I'm gonna go get. But looks pretty good to me. And yeah, how is everyone doing? Look at this. I don't know my time on that, but great. <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying. Now what we're Faster going to than do. Faster Tanner. Oh, Rachel, it's okay. Um, so we're going to just cut off this because we're going to save this for another project. Got to keep those scraps, especially transfer paper. Transfer paper is important. And please, people, use your transfer paper many times because you can. Yeah, you really can. I used it like seven times the other day. One, one little piece. Rachel was blown away at how she was able to stretch the life of that transfer paper. I was. We were just goofing off crafting and I was like, let me just see how, how much I can use this sucker. And boy, it was like six or seven times. Yeah, it's I was amazing. impressed. Super awesome. So, all right, guys, we're going to peel up this transfer tape right here and give a thumbs up for this amazing new video setup, guys. Leave us comments. Let us know what you all think about it. I'm super happy we've been able to bring this to you. Joseph, who has been the head of our live streaming setup, is here with us today monitoring how these two mics work together. And, man, has he just taken this under his wing researched it all working hard answered all my calls when i've not been able to understand how to use the software or anything like that he's, he's just like, he's been like on call too tanner i mean it's like sunday we call and him he's we're here. like joseph we need you yeah. and here he comes so g give him some love guys joseph's the best um it's amazing blake's also here and blake it was pretty much the leader behind getting us to do fonts other than other than our beautiful members um, he's here. So if you guys are excited about fonts, say thanks, Blake, in the comments. Yes, Blake is here. We all know he's here because he's still wiping on that board that he's been cleaning. <laughs> still cleaning that board. Oh Everyone says so hi, Joseph. Okay, let, Kimberly says... Oh, I guess I need to teach real quick. Um, notice how I'm, I've used the transfer tape. Um, transferring our design off of the mat and the vinyl backing sheet i'm putting on the transfer tape and then we're going to apply it onto our board so go ahead with kimberly's question sorry about sorry. that sorry no you're good you're good you were way too wrapped up in the crafting tanner it's okay <laughs> it's okay okay kimberly says is it better to use a pc or an ipad i guess she means with design space yeah so that's the thing you can use any of your designs honestly um you, it, both work really well um i'll use my desktop and my uh like iPhone, it's honestly up to you and your personal preference. And I just want to let you guys know right now, um, we did not want to pull out the 12 by 24 mat. And here's the difference. So you can see on the left hand one, it went down a little bit further and had, went up. So, um, you know, we just wanted to use our 12 by 12 for live streaming sake. So that's why you'll see a little bit different in both of these designs. So yeah. So all right, Rachel, back to the comments. So sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. They're all saying, hello, Blake. Thanks, Blake, for the advice. Thanks, Joseph. Woohoo! We, we're so thankful for all of, our, all of our team member peeps. Yeah, they're the best. And Margie said, I signed in late. What is the cost of a yearly membership? Do I have to pay it all at once or just monthly? Yes, that's the great question. So our monthly members, um, 
you pay a monthly fee. Our yearly members, you pay a yearly fee. And with a yearly membership, that means you, you know, are saying yes to us. So we say yes to you guys with additional benefits of, you know, the bonus e-courses, the fonts that are coming out to your members only. Everything like that um, is coming out. So stay tuned um, to learn more about that. And I'm just going around the edges because it would be hard to transfer this if you didn't. So perfect. All right. So yeah, I hope that answered your question. And yearly would be regular price is $15.99 a month billed tw for 12 months with that yearly membership. So that would be $191. Um, that's, but that gives you a year of membership and that gives you a new cut file collection every single month, Rachel. I know, at least 30 to 40 files. Every single All month. of them in Tanner, Tanner cheats we get the bonuses. system. He, but he cheats the system in a good way. He says that you get like 30 files in a collection, but you pop in there and there's like eight, 10. And then that one time with the organization collection, they had like 20 different little files. In one, in file. one file. It was amazing. We love doing that. And we just want to give as much value as possible. So yes, you get um, a year membership and it's a really a gift that keeps on giving so that you're able to really enjoy all of the member benefits. You're going to get access to the 600 plus cut file library that we have um, as of today. So as soon as you become a member, you get access to all of those cut files. Then um, after your, you know, after the 12 months, you'll renew and you'll get all of the next years and everything like that. So and you don't plus, even know what's coming up in the year. Like the fonts, so much has happened oh my gosh. in one year. You all just need to get your buckle new year membership, then buckle up. Yeah, know? we have so much value that we're adding and pouring into the membership. So you guys are definitely going to enjoy it. Um, I think out of all the other like products and services that you know we see in the marketplace that we definitely are leading, helping you guys learn your machine, get motivated to use your machine, and not for just one particular type of crafting. You know, Rachel, like we have um, 3D projects. We're coming out with an interactive blade um, like collection so that you're able to use the scoring wheel, the rotary blade, you know, all these different blades with a whole collection of cut falls. So super fun. And another question we get a lot is, do I have to have a Cricut maker to be part of your membership? And the answer is no. Any die cutting machine, you're going to be able to enjoy membership benefits. Yes, your silhouette, your brother's scanning cut, anything that's compatible with the PNGs and SVGs we use, you can get crafty with. As well as your Cricut Explorer, anything like that you're gonna be able to really enjoy your membership. And we have a couple comments and I, just looking at the video, yeah. kind of agree. What is Why it? don't we cut off those borders? Okay, I will okay. do that here in a second. Wait. I'll teach you how to do that and with our craft see. tool from Cricut. So yeah, the borders do come with your product, like the file, but you can totally cut them out. I'm about I like to share them for some projects. For some projects, this one, yeah. this one Normally, here's what you're supposed to do with this file. You're supposed to size it over larger than this, but where we were lazy and only wanted to use the 12 by 12 mat for live streaming purposes, um, we ended up, you know, cutting it smaller. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your handy dandy favorite Cricut tool. I love this. We're just go old fashioned it, right? So uh, good crafters make it bigger, but us lazy crafters cut it off. But hey, so well, you all know. we've already made one. So we're like, uh, we don't wanna have to do it price with the 12 by 12 it's gonna look format. good either way it's gonna look awesome yeah and this is go again we already talked about how this is go give a totally different perspective um because it's reverse because tanner made a boo-boo so look it'll be just, a good boo-boo we're just so, taking and margie off. says do you withhold 15.99 on each month or do i have to pay the whole yearly price at once it is the whole yearly price at once um, month, you can get the monthly membership, which is billed monthly, but remember you do not get access to our fonts, you do not get access to the $150 worth of bonus um, video trainings and things like that. So that's only for year members who pay in full. And that gives you a discount, guys. Like you get three months free compared to what our monthly members pay. So if you're a monthly member and you're a member from January to December, you would pay like three months extra compared to our yearly members and our yearly members guess what they're getting bonuses which pretty much pay for the membership so it's such a great deal and the free commercial license for any membership i mean it pays for your membership no matter what tier you have plus more if you actually Heck sell yeah. what you you know what you make i love that though it's amazing it's awesome 
So yes. So okay. Now we are ready to the actual technique part. Who's ready to I get crafty? I think we forgot a little piece. Where? Well, in my camera, it's in like the top right. Yeah. Oh, this one? Yep. Thanks. Sweet. I'm right. seeing close up too over here, Tanner. This is a great angle. Yay! I'm happy you're enjoying it, Rachel. I, I am. Good. All right. So after you go through Hades and back to <laughs> cut your design and weed your design, transfer your design to your piece of wood, everything like that, it's good to go, right? You've applied it. It doesn't look near as good as the one we have right here. But hey. But hey. Um, you're going to need a multi-surface paint. I love multi-surface. You can buy this at Walmart. You can buy this at Michael's Hobby Lobby. Um, we're using Americana multi-surface paint in satin, but you can also use a multi-surface paint from Plaid or any other brand. Shake that up. You're going to need a few different options. A clear plate, a makeup pouncer, or you know, a makeup sponge. Yeah, a makeup sponge. A makeup sponge, yep. or a little pouncer from the craft store. Whichever you have in your craft arsenal, we're gonna go test them out and share with you guys what the results would look um, per one. So we shake this up. We're going to apply it right here. And the, those makeup sponges um, are super cheap. Oh gosh, they have like a pack of a hundred at the Dollar Tree for a buck. So I love they're that. great for crafting too. So and look, Tanner, what is the color of the paint before ooh, the comments start rolling in? Coffee bean. Coffee bean. I love that. Okay. Yep. And it's a brown. So now, Rachel, we'll start out with a makeup sponge since we really do appreciate a makeup sponge. Um, we're going to take the paint. So you want to take the paint with your pouncer. Look at us dip this in. Look at that thick. Like that's too much paint, obviously, right? Way too much for pouncing. So you're going to take it and you're pretty much going to like pounce off the paint where it's all even. So you want to even it out on your, your little makeup sponge. I'm telling you guys like to have like a nice even layer like so. So kind of see how that's even. Then you're going to take it over here and just start pouncing. You want to do a nice up and down motion just because, um, you know, with traditional stencils, the vinyl is going to seal in pretty well, but you never know it could come up. So you want to go up and down. You don't want to go side to side because it could get under it. You want to go nice up and down motion, Rach. I learned that a long time ago from Tanner and it changed my stenciling game. I did one stencil on my own. I was a hot shot, thought I, thought, thought, bleh, thought I knew what I was doing. Oh man, <laughs> I messed it up big time. And Tanner was like, straight up and down, take most of the paint off. And it, it was beautiful. Yeah, I'd much rather do two coats than um, having one Coat blotchy, and blotchy. And thick. Uh, yeah. So look at this, right? It's a labor of love, but it turns out awesome. I love this. It's gonna be great, Tanner. So this is the makeup sponge look. Everybody, take in what you're all are thinking about the makeup sponge look. Um, it's kind of hard to give even um, layers with the makeup sponge, as you all could be telling. Some corners are darker than others, or it something like, like that. It like soaks it in a little. It bit. does soak it in, so don't get too up in arms about it. Um, but remember, guys, you can also just cut HTV iron it on here anything you want it's really up to you and kim wants to know if the cricut 2 which i'm sure she's talking about the cricut explore air 2 yeah has a rotary blade uh no so the only machine that has the rotary blade is the cricut maker thanks to the amazing adaptive tool system um, and you know cricut's gonna be coming out with even more adaptive tools so i'm super excited for that can't wait to see what else we can do with our adaptive tool system besides our scoring wheel rotary blade and knife blade and Judy, hey, Judy is a six-month member, but she wants to upgrade to the yearly to get access to the fonts. How can she do that? Judy, go ahead. In the description, there's a link to our email. Send us an email. Um, but what we'll probably recommend you do is go ahead and grab that year membership, and we will give you a partial refund depending on how long that six-month discount or that six-month membership has been in effect. So any six-month member, you are more than welcome to get that year membership. We want to upgrade you guys. If you're a monthly member, um, what we'll do is cancel your monthly billing and you will not be charged any more monthly and you'll just have that year membership. So if you have any questions, send us an email. And when you upgrade and go ahead and purchase and get that at the first link down below, you do have to email us to cancel those billing payments out. And again, so for the year member, it is a one-time payment each year, right? Yes, it's billed automatically. Um, every year, we do not control that. PayPal does, as we were talking about before. All the payments are done through PayPal because of their secure payment processing. We love PayPal. They're amazing. Um, and it's super awesome. And feel free to get a larger pouncer than this if you're you know, an impatient crafter like we are. This was all we had on hand today. It was. We used to have like a huge 
It was amazing. Filter, but I have no idea where that thing is. <laughs> yeah, so this side, we have went ahead and used the makeup sponge, which is pretty good. And in two coats, you'd have a nice even layer. Um, or after it dries, it would even out a little bit more than you see now. Now we're using like a little pouncer from the craft store. They actually sell these um, in the paint all. And now on this side, we're going to take it. And you can see you can get a much Flip more... It around. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Anytime. You can get a much more even coverage with a pouncer. So see this, Rachel? Oh, wow. This it's is a, hysterical because it's like a makeup tutorial doing like half your face with one <laughs> brand of foundation the other, with the other half. And we're using the same paint. So I know. You so can it's see, crazy to see the difference. We're getting a nice thick coat and it's even. That's the thing about makeup sponges. Makeup sponges work great. What materials do they work oh, really well? I have with? one in mind what? that is 100% makeup sponge all the way. Is it fabric? It's putting chalk, <gasps> chalkboard paint on glass. I believe it. Okay? Oh my gosh. The makeup sponge back, is, is a must. You have to use makeup sponge. Holly agree. Love it. Love it. So yeah, guys, if you were wondering, like being like, oh, that looks blotchy, Look at how this works. So I highly recommend a pouncer of some sort. Martha Stewart makes some. This is made from the same company that makes the Martha Stewart ones. Um, plaid. That looks great. I know. Love the coverage on that. Yeah, and we'll we'll go through this and show you guys how to even that out too. Look at that. So yeah, how's everyone doing? Happy Sunday, everyone. We're so happy to be back crafting with you guys. Hope we're not boring you with this tutorial. Um, I know it's not a lot of vinyl related. It's something you guys have asked a lot of questions about, so I'm glad we're doing it. Yeah. And Madeline asked a pretty good question hey, about Madeline. the Disney collection. Hey. Um, I know that you have said before that we can't steal anybody's art. Of course, anything that's trademarked like Disney, we can't. So how exactly is there a free commercial license on the Disney collection? <sighs> that's a great question. So I'm leaving that up t for you guys to choose from. I'm not your attorney. Um, we have heard mixed reviews. I've read mixed reviews. I'm recommending this to be a personal use collection because we do not want you guys to get sued. We don't want to get sued. Um, these are all hand lettered. We did not steal any images. These, yes, from these are like Disney inspired. Disney inspired images. Right. Um, if you have a custom order and something like that, um, someone in the Facebook group was talking about how they just gave it to them and if they tip them, great, whatever. Um, that's fine. That's personally up to you in your business. Um, all personally up to you. Some people are crazy about it. Some people are more calm down about it. I don't, I don't really understand <clears throat> enough about it, to be honest, to give you a recommendation for this specific collection um, and whatnot. So yes, tread lightly. There's a lot of files in there that I would say, you know what, 100%, if it's just talking about words to do with um, Disney, you're fine. But there are some images in there that you could be personally feeling a little bit different about. So but yeah. it's just, you know, your your choice, whatever. We, we made them choice. to be inspired, so we had no, you know, we did not try to, you know. Yeah, it's a, definitely an inspiration collection. Right, so just at your own risk if you want to sell Tread those. Lightly. That's There's fine, a lot whatever. of images in there that wouldn't even be considered, but there are a few that I think a lot of you are referring to. So anyway, yeah. How's everyone doing? Hope you all Everyone's having a great, great day. They're doing great. I'm trying to read some comments to get you some questions. Yeah. Patty says you're never boring, which thank Aww, you. Aw, thanks, Patty. That's great. We are just stenciling away. I love. Oh, this Barbara setup. wants to know if the membership auto renews on PayPal. It sure does, Barbara. Which I love. I love anything that auto renews. I have all my bills on auto <laughs> right? pay, and I don't know what I would do without auto pay. Yeah, we had a few members that were worried that they were going to lose access because they're like, I know on my year membership's coming up. Um, can you double check it? We're all good. And I'm like, yeah, it's auto, it's auto pay, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, I don't have to worry about it. Nobody has to worry about it. Um, PayPal takes care of it all for us, which is great. And we have some troubleshoot questions, Tanner. Where can they go to get those yes. answers? Yes, if you have any questions on accessing your membership, anything like that, email us. The link is down below on our contact form, or you can send us an email, hi at makersgonnalearn.com. And if you have sent us an email and you're waiting for a reply, be sure to check your spam box, because if you use our contact form, we're finding out that sometimes email providers, since technically you sent a request on our membership site so it didn't actually send an email um when we reply back to you it's going to spam because you didn't send us the initial email so be sure to double check your spam and send us the email directly if you could okay if you could send us the direct email that would be best just so your email provider knows you emailed us first and we're just replying back to an email we find that works a lot better the more you know right <laughs> yeah 
And let's see here. Let me see. Okay, Samantha says, what is the difference exactly between SVG and PNG? Oh, that's a great question. So the SVG is a scalable like vector image. So you could size that to any size possible and it would never be blurry. It would look perfect at all times. PNG is um, a portable like something something image but it's more of just like something like a JPEG. It's like a higher quality JPEG image. So PNG um, is great for patterns and print and cuts, but we highly recommend using SVGs for multi-layer images because you can take our SVG files, put them in Cricut, and you'll have all your layers already taken care of for you at, like you don't have to do any work at all. So, all right guys, we've stenciled through this as much as I'm going to. Whew, my hand's tired. Um, so we're gonna let this dry just for a few seconds. If you have a heat gun, you can speed that process up, anything like that and then we're about to peel it off. So yeah, are there any questions? First Anything? off, I love the heat gun. I love to break gun, that thing out. Guys, Trusty. heat gun's revolutionary. Trusty. If you don't have a heat gun, use a hair dryer. It's like the same thing It's exactly, stronger. yeah, exactly the same thing. <laughs> yeah. And um, Teresa says, how do you stop the PayPal auto renew? That's a great question. You would have to simply cancel your membership. If you are wanting to leave our membership, first of all, I wanna ask you why. Um, so send us an email and we can cancel your membership if for some reason you need to cancel your membership. Um, a lot of people do not want to have auto renew on for such a high priced item like our year membership. Um, so that is able to be turned off, um, but at the end of your membership, you would lose access. So that's very unfortunate. Um, but yeah, so are there any other questions? Of course. Yay. Lindsay wants to know hey, how Lindsay. long ago did the Disney collection come out? It came out Friday. So day before yesterday, we dropped it. We haven't really announced it too much. But yeah, it's so on everybody the site. has gotten a full weekend to craft yeah, with it. Yeah, and I've seen already some amazing projects. So guys, if you're watching and you're like, oh my gosh, Tanner, I have no idea what your membership is, here is our membership. So let's show them that second camera. This is what happens if you click that first link down below. You can learn all about our membership. There's testimonies on here. You can see our three different payment tiers, our monthly, six month, and yearly. You can learn how much we love our year membership um, with the bonus e-courses, the fonts that are coming out Tuesday. Everything like that is for year members only. So super, super awesome. You get that financial incentive to sign up for yearly, which is amazing. And you can join the over 2,000 crafty um, people that love their die cutting machines. On and Tanner, side. what if someone doesn't have a PayPal and they want to sign up? That's a great question. So let's say we want that year membership. You click right here. Um, it's going to take you to this PayPal page. If you already have an account, click this yellow button. But if you want to subscribe using a credit or debit card, click this gray button. And you're just going to follow along with PayPal and it will take care of you. So you don't have to worry about anything like that. If you don't have a PayPal account, you're still able to get that membership. So see, you're entering your your information and everything like that. So and PayPal is super secure. We I've love had PayPal, PayPal forever. I was, you know, worried about signing up for it, but you use PayPal. It's awesome. You'll yeah. use it for future things, of course, as well too, because PayPal is super secure and it's everywhere. Mm -hmm. So just and you get can read your, our FAQs. You an we have a testimony from Melissa that I haven't ever read. So I found Tanner on YouTube when I was researching the Cricut Maker and fell in love with his videos. They're very inspiring, uplifting, and informative. The tutorials are great for beginners and advanced crafters. I've been crafting for a long time, but still love learning new techniques. I actually started with the original Cricut and I've turned my passion and love for crafting into a successful business. I love the Maker's Gonna Learn files and plan on using them for personal and business. Thank you for creating this group and wonderful size. So thank, Melissa, thank you, thank you, thank you for being a member. We love hearing testimonials like that. We loved it so much we put it on the site. So super awesome. And we are now going to just weed our vinyl off of our wood and you'll be able to see these amazing um, results. I'm nervous. Nervous? I'm nervous in a good way. Like Look I'm, at I'm this. I'm ready. Look at this. Can we see? Yeah, we can Look see. Look at that. Look at these lines. Look at lines. that crisp line. We love this. Look at what? this. And Grace wants to know if we pre prepared or sprayed the wood prior to this or anything. No, Grace. This is wood. This is a wood panel. It's made for painting. We yeah. love that. Straight out of the pack. Well, this is Walnut pack. Hollow. Walnut we love hollow. Walnut Hollow. We, you can get it at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or yeah. wherever. We love that. So here's another. I think there's another piece of. Nope, that's fine. Um, and then we're just going to continue weeding through. I, I call it weeding. It's really not weeding. It's just peeling the vinyl up. And be careful if it's wet still like mine um, because you don't want the vinyl to fall down or anything like that. That's so cool. Rachel, is this This not is not a craft fail. This is awesome. This is awesome. Looks like birch trees. Yes, these are birch trees. Yes, we love that. 
Great, great vinyl. Birch is like... Or great wood. Yeah, it's beautiful. Sorry. <laughs> I'm too focused on the vinyl. Look at this. Guys, are we not loving Rachel on the mic? I love that she's able to interact with you guys in the comments. And then while I'm over here crafting, we're able to converse. It's the best thing ever. Yeah, I missed it. I felt like I just had to be quiet and sit over here. So I'm glad I got a <laughs> mic now so I could annoy you all some more. So that's oh my good. gosh. I think they love it because there's not a lot of, you know, people that I feel like engage as much as we do with the comments and i think that's the best part of being able to do a live stream so right yeah and that's that. that's the whole point you know we want to answer y'all's questions live yes so. gomer says this mistake quotation marks is beautiful oh yay thank you. thank you it's a great little change and now you'll see two so that we were able to you know do it and you guys get to choose which one you prefer and that's the beauty of it we're gonna do all the hard work for you and that's like the files like we work with the designers to design the files. We create the projects. You guys just get to pick which ones you want to make. And where do we get our wood? We got ours at Hobby Lobby, but you can get yours, I think, at most all, craft, all craft stores, stores yeah, have some have like them. This. So I'm grabbing a piece it's a of paper. This Walnut Hollow, though, it's a super smooth wood. Unfinished, of course, mm -hmm. but it's, you can iron on it really, really easily. But Or you stencil. It's great for any types of projects. Like it's this. really great. So I'm removing a few little pieces there may be a few more left on here we don't know and we have a question saying okay. i would really like to use adhesive foils will you all please Ooh. make a video using <gasps> it rachel that's a great idea for a new up and coming video that is an awesome idea uh, we can totally work on that because we do have the adhesive foils we need to make some videos on it so great idea but guys okay here's two different looks now we did this one live so oh it does look really good I on really camera like it. i love it it's not honestly like for me i wish i had done a better layering um, for paint but it was such a fast process that we were trying to accomplish as you can see on this one um much more evenly distributed paint but look tanner you can see both ways of uh, doing it isn't it cool so if you guys look right here if you all want more of the like wood look if you want to see more of the wood you know maybe you'll want to go with this one but if you like the more of that dark rich color um this one looks really good i love both of these they're super awesome um so we love that this is still wet so we're gonna let that draw but guys how fun was that for a crafternoon this Sunday? How many of you guys have not been able to use vinyl as a stencil before? Hope you guys are enjoying this. Are there any questions about this process? Now is the time to be throwing those comments up as we're wrapping up the live stream. Rachel, what is everyone saying? Everyone loves it. Matthew said, should you wait until the paint has dried or take the vinyl off as soon as you're done painting? Um, it's honestly up to you. Just for the before and after effect, we pulled up before it dried. Um, but you can let it dry. I sometimes like to pull it up right after so it doesn't have enough time to smear or anything like that. And I have to read Donna's comment because I love it. Oh, yeah. She said, I've had other memberships in the past, but this membership is the best and it's Aww. my favorite. You honestly get your money's worth with the yearly membership. So glad Yay, to hear it. Donna, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you are wanting to be your member like Donna, go ahead and click that first link down below and become a member today at that year membership tier. We would love to have you. And... Our member of the day has been selected, Rachel. <gasps> Yay! We've had some Yay. people commenting saying not to forget. <laughs> well, great. Well, let's show up. So our member of the day today is Brenda, and it's because she is using our organization collection, one of our projects from the um, organization collection, and one of the videos that we made on a live stream. And she said, finally got this done and ready for meal planning. I love that thing. Uh, look at all what she's got. She's got pasta, chicken and mashed potatoes, ground beef and potato casserole. Um, Rachel, we're coming over Tuesday night. Yeah, we're coming <laughs> if that's okay. We'll be there. Wednesday, chicken soup. Oh my gosh, there's leftovers on, wait, yeah, leftovers on Friday. And then Saturday is date night. Shoot, Brenda, you are amazing. I we love, love, that. love, love your project. I use mine every week. I still, I use it. I love that thing. <laughs> I love that, Rachel. And there's so many. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Brenda, for being an amazing member and sharing your crafty creations. Remember, guys, if you have a membership, head over to the Facebook group, start sharing your craft projects from the Disney collection, organization collection, all of the different ones you have available. Um, start crafting. There's so many files. You are definitely going to love, love, love getting a membership. So be sure to click that first link down below to get all the goods and it's instant access to your cut files, your printable guide. Guys, I wanna start seeing you guys print these out in the Facebook group. So go ahead. Um, I know a lot of you have said you printed them out. Heck, when we launched it, Rachel, there was people printed out by the time 
towards the end of the live stream. Oh yeah, they said it's printed now. Yeah. It's done. So share photos with us using those next to your Cricut and having a lot of crafty fun. But anyway, Rachel, is there anything else we've got going on in the comments? We've Any got other one comment. Nancy says, how do you reuse the stencil? Yeah, so this we already painted over. Um, so if in a traditional sense, I ripped mine a piece. Um, but I would recommend not doing that. So you'd peel it up and then wait. So that's when a great time when Matthew commented, should I wait until the stencil's dry? Highly recommend waiting until it's dry if you're planning on reusing it. But for this top with the acrylic paint, um, it's really more, I would recommend more of a one use time. So yeah. Yeah, that's that's about Perfect. it. Perfect. Yeah. Well, guys, I hope you had a lot of fun learning how to stencil, um, making stencils with your Cricut and vinyl and applying it and some tips and tricks on it. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave us a comment if you're watching the recorded. Thanks for hanging out with us. And we are super excited to see you guys become members for and to makersgonnalearn.com. So if you're not already a member, head on over and get your membership tier. And again, guys, I just want to thank you so much for being a member. So have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye.